Hello everybody, this is my second video on my Enwall 75 gallon reef tank. Today the tank's 8 days old. There is 75 pounds of live rock. I got this live rock from a 2 year old established reef tank. It's got quite a bit of coralline algae on it, which is growing pretty well. Seems to be spreading. This rock actually came with these star polyps on it here, and those have been doing pretty well. I have a small sailfin tang. He's been doing good. Now, I did not just throw this tank up. I had this in a 55-gallon running for a little over a month. So it's been through its cycle and everything. I would not just throw fish and coral in there, I'm not cycling the tank. So I have the tank. I have uh, three little chromises. And this is the start of what's going to be my... Zoa Garden. Have some there. Some Zoas. A twelve hundred and fifty gallon. It's like a Tunzi style power head, but it's a cheaper version. It was like fifty eight dollars at the local fish store. And then that's an 850 gallon high door. Uh, that is the Reef Octopus BH1000 skimmer. And you notice that outlet tube there and the intake there. I will show you. This is my room here for the fish tank um, so the inlet comes in here goes through this little giant pump here and I have this on the heater and a 25 watt UV sterilizer and then it runs into the outlet there um, I put this on here. Um, sometimes I don't want to like vacuuming the crushed coral. It don't need to be all the time, but I do keep up on my water changes. So is what I do is I just take this hose here, run it into the bucket, change some water that way. Real easy. So when I do my weekly water changes, one week I'll vacuum the gravel. And the next week, I'll just change it through there. There's the skimmer. Um, the skimmer is awesome. It works really well. It's been keeping my water really clean. I'm going to do a review on that. Here's what it looks like. It is. I've only had this tank here set up for eight days, so... It is still a little messy here, but I do have all my drip loops there for everything. I have everything labeled here, make it a little easier. This is the timer here. I have two fixtures on the tank. Get this thing to zoom in. I have two fixtures on the tank. That's for one of them, for the glow fixture. That's the timer for the fan here to get to uh, blow some of the heat that the lights produce. The lights don't produce much heat, but it is nice to have a fan to blow it around. Uh, it keeps the tank, the tank temp quite stable. I have that come on an hour after the lights come on. I have my pumps up here on a separate so I can shut them off when I spot feed my corals. 
the lights here, the front one is a glow fixture. It has an 18,000K daylight and an actinic in it. This is an Odyssey light with a built-in timer. Oh. It works quite well. I would suggest change the bulbs. Um, the bulbs that it comes with are pretty cheap. But it works quite well. I had it on my last tank. And it did it did the job pretty good. I painted the back and the sides of the tank. I went down to Walmart and I got this here. It's acrylic paint. I bought two bottles. It's only about a buck fifty a bottle. And I painted the sides and the back. I'm gonna put a black background on here over it. Um, because as you can see here. It does not go over the silicone, and it does scratch quite easily. But I like the look of the painted tank because when you just put a background on, you get the wrinkles, and it, it just, I don't like how it looks. So if you paint it and then put a background over it to protect it from stuff, from scratching it, it looks very nice um, inside the display. You don't get all those wrinkles and everything. So that's... The filtration there. Uh, I am gonna get an overflow box and get a sump and put down here. I can just put it out here on the on the floor here. Make it really easy. I will probably end up using that same pump, so I can still use the UV sterilizer there. I will just uh, drill a hole in the side of the sump and use that so I can keep the sterilizer on there. But yeah, that's what those looks like. It, it looks like a little bit of a wiry mess, but uh, I know where everything is. It's not all tangled up. I have all my drip loops. I have everything labeled. It works for me. But there's that. The fan there on the side of the wall and I'll show you the display again we will have some more updates once I start putting stuff in um, the lifeguard filter there actually had two extra things there in it for filters uh, you could put some filters in there like you can get them at Home Depot uh, you get filters and you know, run carbon or whatever you want to put inside. But running filters in those, and my past experience with trying a canister filter on one of these, it turns out making a lot of nitrates go into your tank and there's just no good. So my main, you know, your main filtration on a saltwater tank anyways is your live rock. You want to make sure you have enough live rock and a skimmer. I've had, I've bought in cheap skimmers in the past and I paid $190 for that Reef Octopus, and that's one of the best things I've bought for my tank. Um, I will not buy another cheap skimmer. They are junk. The Reef Octopus there, even though it is a hang on the back filter, some people don't like them. I do. It's it's you know it's whatever works for you. But I like that skimmer. And I'll show you the display one more time. There it is there. Let me get this to zoom back in. The lights are tripping it out. And my tank stays about 78, 79 constant. There's not too much fluctuation in the temperature. But there's a tank. Have any comments? Please leave me some comments. Any questions? Feel free to ask. Thanks.